someone wanted to know what foods are high in vitamin K2. Now, vitamin K1, very different, is all about stopping bleeding, okay? So if you're bruising, for example, you probably need more K1. K2, completely different. K2 is about making sure calcium does not build up in the soft tissues, especially in the coronary arteries, also in the joints. And then it takes that calcium and pushes it into the bone. So it makes your bones really, really strong. Now, as far as the amounts, it really depends on what you're trying to do. If you're taking a maintenance dose, let's say it's 100 micrograms, I would stick with that. If you want a therapeutic dose, go up to 400 micrograms. Now, I recommend taking D3 with K2 at this ratio right here. So if you're taking 100 micrograms, take 10,000 IUs of D3. If you're taking 200 micrograms of K2, take 20,000 IUs. Okay, the food's high in K2. All right, at the top of the list, NATO has the most K2. This is a fermented soybean product. Then we have goose liver, duck liver, chicken liver, beef liver. Now, I personally consume these in a uh, pate. Uh, egg yolk uh, has a good amount of K2. Uh, make sure it's pasture-raised organic eggs. Grass-fed beef has K2. Emu oil has K2. Hard and soft cheeses. Gouda cheese has a good amount of K2. Pepperoni, salami, pork sausage, grass-fed dairy products, including uh, butter and sour cream, cream cheese has K2, and sauerkraut even has some K2. All right, guys, there's your quick video on K2. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now, and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.